Allah Ta'ala, when we ask him, when we seek from him, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is willing to answer our call. But we don't ask from him. Allah says, I immediately answer the call of the one who called me. And in the hadith Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that three people, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala hears their dua immediately. The first amongst those is that the person who is fasting. When the time for breaking fast comes and he makes dua to Allah, Allah accepts his dua. The second person is the ruler who is just, who does insaf, who is just. When he makes dua to Allah, Allah accepts his dua. And the third person is the maghloom, the one who has been wrong. Regardless if he is a Muslim or non-Muslim, when he raises his hands, his dua is immediately taken up in the heaven. And Allah says, I will answer your call. It might take a little while, but Allah will answer. So the person who is fasting, and Alhamdulillah we are fasting in the month of Ramadan. So we should take out a few minutes before the end of the fast and make dua to Allah. The least dua we can do that comes in the hadith is Ya Wasi al Fadri, Irfirli. Ya Wasi al Fadri, Irfirli. The one who has vast father. Forgive me. At that time, whatever dua we make, Allah accepts. So ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this halal. Because the one whose risk is halal, everything will change for him. But if our risk is mashkuk, doubtful, our risk is not right, then our dua is not accepted. 
once had died being useful. And they retired in the time of the Umayyad. Before Umar bin Abdul Aziz Rahmatullah. So Hajjaj, he found out that there are some pious people in Kufa who are doing dua against him. So Hajjaj invited them for food. So they all came. Then Hajjaj fed them. After they had eaten their fill, he said to them, Now you can make as much dua against me, curse against me as you want. Now your dua will not be accepted. Because I fed you haram. So I fed you haram. So when we eat halal food, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes it. Halal food means not only that the chicken is zabiha or no, the sauce is halal also. So those brothers who have mashkuk or doubtful earnings, they should think about this. That in this country, in America, you can do business 90% in halal sources. 90%. But what do our Muslims do? Muslims, I mean Bangladeshi, Pakistani, Indian, and Palestinian. They all go into convenience foods. And you know what they sell in there. So the income from that is haram. Now we feed our families with that, we feed our children with that. Then we complain that the children don't listen to us. The family doesn't listen to us. So how can they? We don't listen to Allah. So when we don't listen to Allah, why should Allah put in the makhluk to listen to us? Huh? But if our source of income is halal, then the barakah could be there. Then, inshallah, we will be listened to. Not only by our family and friends, but Allah also. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَلِيمٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِي إِذَا دَعَانِ If our halal income is there, then Allah will listen to us. Now we all fast, we all pray, we all do this, we all do that. But our source of income is not haram, it's actually doubtful. Then what's going to happen? That's why Allah's Musra does not come. Allah's Musra does not come. So my dear brothers, we should make niyyah that we will come out of this and go into halal. Those who will come out of going to halal, Allah will provide for you more than what you get from halal. Ah. Today, inshallah, in Tarawih, this ayat will come. Worship your Lord until Yaqeen comes, you need to kill Moth comes. So if we come out of Haram and we come into Halal, or we make intention in that, inshallah, of coming out of haram and going into halal. And if God comes to us, Allah will forgive us. But if we don't intend to do it, then why should Allah forgive us? So our dua is based upon our luqma, what we eat. We generally tend to think that the chicken has to be halal, then its ibadah is accepted. 
Uh, but where we bought the chicken from, the money we earned from, and we buy the chicken from, that's also considered. So we have to make our source of income halal. And then eat halal. And our fast will be preserved. But if we don't do any of this, then we should not accept that Allah will accept our we should not ex expect that Allah will accept our dua. The Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi says that the fastest person, when he breaks his fast, whatever dua he does, Allah accepts it. So do intelligent dua. Intelligent dua is from the Quran. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fil akhirati hasana. Wa qina adhaba the person who makes this dua is made dua for his dunya. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. All the good. Wafil akhirati hasana. All the good in the year after. Jannah and so on. Wafina adab al nar. Allah save us from the fire of Jannah. This is intelligent dua. Somebody told a person that when you go to the Kaaba and you make dua, Allah accepts your dua. So he was a simple man. So he went to the Kaaba. When he looked at the Kaaba, he remembered the guy had told him that if you make dua, Allah will accept your dua. So he said, Oh Allah, do manj de de. Oh Allah, give me two buffaloes. Because he was a, he used to sell milk. So his whole world is a buffalo. Don't be like that. When he asked Allah, Ask Allah for Rabbana Atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirah fi hasana wa fina adha. And at the time of breaking fast, Ya Wasi al Fawdi, Ya Rufi. Make dua for your children. MashaAllah, we want our children to be in the best of education. Everybody wants to send them to Nova. But we don't care. If my son knows Surah Fatiha, we don't care if my daughter knows Surah Fatiha. So when they grow up, they grow up, mom, mom and dad were Muslim. But they have nothing. That's why it's necessary to bring them to the Makati. Now, mashallah, in every masjid we have Makta. We have Makta here. To give me a new Islam, we have a there. If you will give me a Dardo, we have a Maktab there. MashaAllah, in all our masajid now, they are Makati. And we are trying to work that all the Makati work. So our children come to the Masjid, our children come to the Madrasa, they learn Quran, they learn their Deen. Some of it we are seeing, Alhamdulillah. We are seeing ourselves that our two students who let Tarawi, Farhan is still leaving inshallah to the end, these are our fruits from our maktab, from your, your spending money in the path of Allah, you help in the masjid, you help in the maktab, this is the fruits. So some people think, why do we have to have so many masajid? So this is a need. If we can't help, Allah will create others who will help. وَإِنْ كَتَوَلَّوْ يَسْتَقْبِلْ قَوْمٌ غَيْرَكُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَكُمُ If we turn away from deen, Allah will bring better people than us. وَإِنْ كَتَوَلَّوْ يَسْتَقْبِلْ قَوْمٌ غَيْرَكُمْ Allah says, if you turn away, I will bring in your place people better than you. Not your and they will not be like you. So it is my honor, it is your honor that Allah gives us tawfiq to help and do nusra of the masajid and the madaris. This is an honor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us. We are not doing a favor to Allah. Rather we are doing a favor upon ourselves. You know, people, a lot of people have questions. 
every year we have to give to the masjid. So every day you have to eat also. So if you don't support the masjid, don't think Allah does not have others. Allah will tell others to support the masjid. But it is my honor, your honor, that we help when the masjid is in need of help. And those who help the in Allah yansurkum wa yuthabbit aqdamakum Allah says if you help the house of Allah, if you help Allah, how can you help Allah? Allah does not need our help. But if you help the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will help you. In terms of Allah, he answer And Allah will establish your foot feet. Then inshallah you will be established. Your deen will be established. And you will not be here anymore. I will not be here anymore. But the masjids will stay and people will say Qala Allah and Qala Rasul here, inshallah. And it will carry on. People come and go. Allah's deen is always there. But those who are honored and gain is the one who helped the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those who didn't help the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they came and went also. But nobody remembers them. Nobody remembers them. People remember those who helped the deen of Allah. So be one of those who help the deen of Allah. For this reason, inshallah, we are trying to get a thousand people to give a thousand dollars in this Ramadan. And inshallah, we can pray off the land and inshallah, we can start off with Muslim project. We make dua also. In Ramadan, when you make dua for yourselves, you make dua for your children, you make dua, make dua for the masjid also. And Allah establishes it. Allah puts barakah in it. And those brothers who bring his power, please, if you're going to bring something on your own accord, you must be with Brother Gyas or both Brother Kamal. People leave boxes of baits. It's not that we don't need them, but you have to understand, you can't just leave food lying around. Yesterday, a lot of food was wasted. We don't want to waste food. And people bring food when it's, they haven't, they haven't arranged it before. If they have arranged prior, then we can accommodate them. But if somebody brings food, when there's already food here cooked, then that food is going to become a waste. So please ask Brother Diaz, Brother Kamal, both Brother Kamal, if you want to bring food, whatever you want to bring, ask them inshallah. And, and brothers, everybody who comes to the masjid to do iftar, you are our guest, but you have not come in a wedding. You have not come in a shadi. You come for iftar. So you have to bring your bottle of water, it's outside, it's inside, you carry the bottle of water. When you finish with your plate, please, there are garbage cans around, put it in the garbage. These brothers have to work until 12 at midnight, cleaning after us. This is not right. We are not coming away. We are coming for iftar. The least we can help them is at least pick up our garbage and throw it in the, in the garbage can. And the garbage cans are provided everywhere, around the masjid. So don't become a burden. And don't ask them, where's the water? You can see the water in your eyes. Allah has given us eyes. And ask them to think. To think that way. That look, mashallah, they, they do a lot of work for us. Some of the sisters, they come from early and then they leave late. So they didn't need to do this. So we have to also assist. May Allah give me profit also.